Today we're gonna to look at just how to do traction of a local segment in the neck. What I'm gonna have you do, let's say for Adonis, we did our testing and we determined that he had trouble, let's say at C5, C6, going into extension, going to that direction. And I think he's kind of, he's irritable, there's conditions irritable, and I wanna just do a little bit of unloading. So C5, C6, so I wanna do is palpate C6. How do I get there? I go back here, I think what C6 would be, or C7, it's C6 goes away, C7 stays. So I can go through there. I can put my fingers on C6, kind of a, a grip on both sides. With this hand, I come through here. And the way to lock it is when you lock a joint in the neck, is you do side bend, rotate to the opposite. So what I can do is I can lock all the segments above. I can go segment by segment. I could go to, let's say, C2, side bend and rotate. Then I go to C3 on C4, side bend and rotate, go down. Now I'm on, so I want to do C5 on C6. I hold C6 down. I side bend, rotate to that level. And now I'm there, and I hold C6 down. All I have to do is stand up. Okay, if we go by a Coltenborn method, I just kind of unload, take up the slack, and stretch. So my pinky is on C5. My other pincer grip is on 6. And I'm just locking down segment by segment so I know I'm there to the level, lock it down, and then just stand up. I just hold the C C6 down, and just stand up the traction C5 on C6. Really nice way to unload that segment.